Question five reads five A reads um in how many ways can seven red marbles and three green marbles be put in a straight line? Okay, so seven marbles, seven red marbles, marbles and three green marbles be put in a straight line if here yeah, there are no restrictions so one a one is no restrictions okay if you have no restrictions it means that it's just an arrangement and when you find that you only have an arrangement you should know that that is a permutation okay so since they said there are no there's no restriction so that's just the same as uh since there are no restrictions the total number of marbles is 10 isn't it total number of marbles is 10 7 plus 3 is 10 that's the total number of marbles so what you do is so this is just the same as uh 10 permutation 10 since there are no restrictions to be 10 permutation 10 which is just the same as 10 factorial over 10 minus 10 everything everything in brackets then factorial on the outside since for permutations it's n p r is equal to n over n minus r factorial so this is the, the formula okay so that would be 10 factorial over 0 factorial 0 factorial is just 1 so that is 10 factorial which is equal to uh, using your calculator 10 10 factorial is equal to that so 10 factorial is just 3 million six hundred twenty eight thousand eight hundred okay so that's our answer so that is our answer there okay, let me write it here three six two eight eight zero zero okay so that is our answer okay then for number two number two says uh, the green marble should not be next to each other okay now they said the green marble should not be next to each other so that tends into a combination combination in a combination you cannot uh, put uh, the same things uh, together twice you get huh? so what you do is in short what i'm saying is that it will be um 10 since for the red marbles there's there's no restriction so that is just 10 okay let me let me write it in terms of of factorial okay so that will be in terms of factorial since there are 10 combinations then this will be over the 10 combinations minus 3 3 factorial in short it's just 10 choose 3 okay why it is like this because um, the number of marbles that should not be put together is 3 and we are limiting that uh, that combination by placing them on different or in between red marbles and this is how we do it okay so that would be equal to 10 factorial over 7 factorial 3 factorial so this is equal to 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial okay so that is 120 120 ways ways okay so these are the number of ways in which the marbles can be put uh, in between the the um seven red marbles without yeah repeating the sequence okay then uh we got the next one which is a group of six 
pupils is to be chosen from the eight boys and six girls. Find the number of ways of choosing at least four girls. Okay, so we've already been given a uh, number of girls that we can choose. So this is just simply going to be, okay, this, so this is B, B. Uh, so this is simply just going to be, um, since we have eight boys and six girls, girls. So that is eight, choose two, and six, choose four. Since we've already been given the four girls that you're supposed to choose. So that'll be six, choose four, and eight, choose two. Since we're choosing two. So this is the number of ways of choosing two boys from the eight boys. And this is the number of ways of choosing. This is the number, and this is the way of choosing uh, six girls from four boys. Oh, sorry, six uh four girls from six boys from six girls okay so this is just going to be uh six huh six factorial six factorial over um six minus four Factorial four factorial. And this other side we have eight factorial over eight minus two factorial two factor. So this is going to be uh twenty-eight and then this is going to be fifteen. Okay. So this is the number of ways of choosing uh, the two boys, and this is the number of ways of choosing uh, for, for girls. But it's telling us, the question says, find the number of ways of choosing at least four girls. In short, so what we do is that we add these two. So it'll be 28 plus 15, which will be equal to 43. So that is the answer. Okay. Then, um. Okay, now for question uh, six. Okay, question six uh, says solve the equation uh, two sine two x plus one is equal to zero. Okay, two sine two x plus one is equal to zero. Uh, and for the range is zero degrees, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 360 degrees. Okay. So, solve this equation first of all. We take the sine 2x plus 1. We take the one this other side. So, 2 sine 2x. And we go to, to 0. Okay, 2 sine 2x is equal to 1. Then divide this by sine by 2 by 2. So sine 2x is equal to 1 over 2. Sorry, negative, negative. Then 2x is equal to sine inverse. The negative just means where it's negative. So we can remove it at this part. So x is equal to sine inverse 1 over 2 and then this entire thing divided by 2 okay so x will be equal to where's the sine inverse of okay so sine inverse of 0 0.5 which is 30 so 30 divided by 2 so x is equal to uh, 15 okay but since it had a negative what's going to happen is that we're going to write the values of x for which uh, sign is negative so sign is negative in the third and in the fourth quadrant it is positive in the first and in the second okay all right 
So in the third quadrant, we add 180 plus the angle that will be equal to x. And then in the fourth quadrant, we say 360 minus the angle that will be y to be equal to x. So this is just a, that this will be equal to uh, 180 plus 15, which will be equal to uh, 195 degrees. Then this is going to be 360 minus 15, it's just going to be 345 degrees. And those are the values of x. Okay. Then we go on to B. Question 6B says, um, Express 5 sin theta minus 12 cos theta in the form R sin uh, theta minus alpha, where R is greater than 0 plus, oh, 0 and 0 is, and alpha is less, the zero is less than alpha less than 90. Okay, so <clears throat> to solve this question, first of all, we should understand that uh, r sine theta minus alpha, this is just the same as uh, r, open brackets, sine theta minus alpha, which is sorry, which is equal to R sine theta cos theta minus sine alpha cos alpha cos theta. This is an identity. This is an identity. Okay. So, yeah. In short, then when we, uh, Multiply this, expand this, that will be R sine theta cos alpha minus sine alpha cos theta. Okay. Then we relate this equation here to the equation that we were given, which is uh, 5 sine theta minus 12 cos theta. Okay. So looking at this equation and this equation, we know that R cos alpha is equal to 15. Oh, sorry, to 5. Is equal to 5. Because this and this will be equal to 5. Then this here will be equal to 12. So R sine alpha is equal to 12. OK? Yeah. So, we know that uh, in order to find uh, the R, because this has now turned into like a triangle, the right angle triangle, where R is the hypotenuse, then alpha is here, then since alpha is here, meaning since this is cos, this will be our adjacent, so this is part here is 5. And then this part here automatically will be 12. This is the right angle triangle. So this would be equal to find R, we we'll, we'll use Pythagoras theorem. That would be 12 squared plus 5 squared to be equal to R squared. 12 squared is 144. R squared is 25. Equal to R squared. So R squared is equal to 169. Yeah. So root root. So R will be equal to 13. Okay. So this is R, and then to find alpha, we use tan, so it will be tan inverse of, we we'll use toa, so katoa we we'll use toa, so that is tan theta, tan alpha, sorry, will be equal to the opposite over the adjacent, the opposite is 12, the adjacent is 5. So my answer will be uh, tan inverse of 12 over 5 is equal to, sorry, it's tan of 
then how far is equal to 10 inverse 12 over 5 so how far is equal to 67.38 degrees so writing it in this form will be 13 sine theta minus 60 sorry so that will be 67.38 degrees okay so that's how you rewrite it. All right.